Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. I think I've only seen one or two other people talk about this in booktube, but in the kind of outside book world, this book has become very popular very, very fast ever since it came out. So very briefly, The Miniaturist tells the story of Nella. She is a very young woman who lives out in the country in the 17th century, and although her family name carries a lot of prominence and weight. Her family has lost a significant amount of money very, very fast, so her family and another family come together and arrange for her to be married to 39-year-old Johannes, who is an extremely successful and wealthy merchant living in Amsterdam. So she arrives in Amsterdam with kind of equal amounts of nervousness and excitement, but it's certainly not the welcome party that she anticipates. Her husband is not really interested in her, and his sister Marin, who I want to say is in her early 30s, clearly is kind of the woman of the household in charge, even though that kind of should be Nella's job, so she feels a bit like a child. So the miniature comes into play when Johannes buys Nella her wedding gift, which is a cabinet house, and I'll insert some fun pictures of cabinet houses that I found online here, because after I finished this book, that's the first thing I did. But it's essentially a cabinet that is a duplicate, you know, miniature version of their home, but it's empty, so Nella is given more money than she's ever held in her hands in her life, and tasked with finding a miniaturist to create pieces for their home. So she finds one, sends off a list of the few items that she wants, and receives those, but she also receives some items that she definitely did not ask for. Some items that are quite ominous, and overall just items that contain or surround information that no outsider should be able to know. So okay, so that's all I'll say in terms of plot, but having seen the stunning, I've seen two different versions of covers for this book, and they're both stunning. The American version I believe is the one with the woman and the dress. And having quickly kind of glanced at the cover and read the little synopsis, I thought this was going to be a very fun mystery about someone who was leaving like ominous futuristic little miniature snow globes on her doorstep, which was not the case. An important thing to know going into this book is if you just look at the cover and you just read the synopsis and you're expecting a fun mystery that's a book basically just surrounding miniaturist, it is important to know that there is so much more to this book than that. Very, very large part of this book is Nella attempting to integrate into this household, learning everybody's secrets, trying to integrate into society, and becoming accustomed to Amsterdam. And then another equally large part is dealing with the prejudices of that time concerning race, sex, a plethora of others, and kind of describing this claustrophobic nature of the society because of the religion at that time. I don't know if I said this yet, but this takes place in the 17th century, I think 1667, I want to say. So there definitely is that interesting element of the miniaturist, and it carries, you know, from beginning to end. That is just one aspect of it, and I think that's a good thing. I think it's a great thing that there are so many other elements to this book. I was not expecting to be so emotionally affected by this book, and I think partially that is because I was expecting going into this thinking it was going to be more of a fun read. There are definitely a lot of very heart-wrenching scenes, very, very difficult to read scenes in this book, and they're done very well. Her prose are absolutely stunning. The writing, for me, I don't know, I can't put my finger on why, but it felt very reminiscent to the writing of Burial Rites by Hannah Kent, which is another book that I absolutely loved. Concerning the characters, I enjoyed all of them. I loved learning their secrets and their depth. I especially enjoyed the fact that Nella, I feel like a lot of characters, especially female protagonists are either so headstrong and so powerful it's unrealistic or or they're just these little weak wallflowers and I thought she was a really good realistic mix of the two. My only critique of this book would be that as I said this takes place in the 17th century but a lot of the beliefs and standpoints of a lot of the characters were so liberal for that time it felt unrealistic, say for concerning feminism. It, I'm very glad that a lot of the characters felt the way that they did, but considering this is in the 17th century, it felt kind of like the author took 21st century mindsets and just plopped them into a bunch of the characters. And Like I said, she does talk about issues of race and sex and a ton of others, and her writing is so beautiful. I kind of wish she would have just picked a few moral topics to really focus and hone in on and not try and 
talk about so many, but overall I loved this book. It was easily my favorite book I've read so far this year. I would probably give it four and a half out of five stars. Just tragic and beautiful and stunning and heart-wrenching and uh, ah. And I would also recommend that when you finish this book to 100% go back and reread the first chapter. Without a doubt the first chapter will confuse you when you get into the book, but go back and reread it when it comes to the end and it adds a whole new perspective and just a whole other level to the book. That's it for my review. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the book if you've read it and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more book reviews. I think my next video will probably be... I just hopped one country over and went to France for Easter break here. It's Semana Santa. So I, so I think I'll probably put up a little vlog of that and I will see you guys soon. Bye.